it's Scorn. Somehow you're allowed to play Scorn on Twitch. And the reason you can do this is because this game is just blood, guts, gore, and violence, and not nipple. <laughs> well, may maybe a little nipple, but th it's usually disguised in a weird, like, kind of gross H.R. Geiger way. Um, you know, last time I played this, I just about gave up. And the reason for that is... I was really upset that I uh, loaded the wrong save. Now, it should be known that um, that was kind of my fault. It was entirely my fault. I clicked load game instead of continue. For some reason, my eyes went directly to load game. I explained this last time, but I'll explain it again. Um, and it basically loaded the beginning of the chapter or, or some, some checkpoint and I lost like 40 minutes of gameplay. I should have clicked continue, but by the time I clicked continue after that, it was too late. So as stated earlier, um, you know, chat was blaming the game. You can blame me and the game, but for such a harebrained move, you have to wonder why the game didn't idiot proof such a thing. I mean... You know, you you gotta make sure your your game is like somewhat idiot proof. That's all I'm saying. Oh my god, chat member, please. Alright. We're gonna be doing this. What this chat member does not stop typing this message. I uh see main account. What's what's happening here? Huh. To add or reduce access, remove login and request again. Oh, okay. Chat, you need to just give give me a moment here. Um all right. Well, unfortunately chatty broke. But we're going to play scorn and forget about all that. Yeah, got to re-verify. I'll do that during the break. All right, um, now I can load game. Wrinkly Newt sent me a save file here, and apparently where I was was very close to Act 3, and we're only missing about a minute, or a couple minutes or something. Maybe if anyone can confirm, let me know. But we're going to do um, Act 3. This is as close as we can really get to. Unfortunately, we did miss a little bit of content, everybody. I can confirm depending on where this puts you. Okay, so I'm uh, there's an elevator here. I mean, it was either this or just not continue this game. Hmm. Didn't you stop here? Koopas! You missed, like, six minutes of stuff. I can live without six minutes of scorn. Apart from the save fiasco, are you enjoying this game? Not really. What I am enjoying is how fucking weird it is. I like all the... like, strange meat creatures and... tentacles and... and, uh bizarre visuals like I, I kind of feel like just the spectacle of the game alone is enough to keep me going I also need to increase the volume a bit okay so we're gonna figure out uh, Vinny did you make any progress in that duck game no I'll do that on on stream at some point Wow. That is disgusting. Apparently this game was redone from scratch. You saw the starting area with the buddy, but there's a lot- been a lot of time passed. Your back buddy and your current buddy are fighting over control of your flesh. 
Oh. Chad, has anyone ever fought over control of your flesh? Your own flesh has. Within your flesh, your flesh is fighting for control of your flesh. And here's the thing. No matter who wins the fight, the flesh loses. Someone said I get a bit woozy when I see the human anatomy. Good thing this is n not human. Ow. Just for good measure. Don't need that thing sneaking up on me while I'm trying to activate this penis statue. fleshling of some kind. I mean, this could be a Resident Evil enemy. Or yeah, or Silent Hill. I mean, at various times, both of those franchises could have had such a creature. But yeah, I guess, uh, more Silent Hill 3. Vinny, did you see the update to the Bayonetta voice actress drama? Well, as I said a couple days ago... None of us know any of the details. Oh, I'm not gonna go on a long diatribe about this. But there is the potential that there is, um... Some skullduggery and such. All I can really say is this. Voice actors need to be treated fairly. People shouldn't lie about how much they're getting. Uh, Kamiya is a penis man. And the internet reacts emotionally at the first glance of something without really digging for more information or waiting for more information. And it's not surprising. I mean, you know, people going so far as to uh, um, harass Jennifer Hale, and it's like, really? But the whole thing is just now a big clusterfuck and a, a huge mess, and there's no one answer. You know, if you want good guys and bad guys, you want to play some sci-fi or fantasy. But in this case, there's, there's no knowing. It's just turned into a big clusterfuck. So really, um... The takeaway for me is just treat your voice actors correct. You know, but also... Also... Three sides to every story. He said, she said. So that's really all I've got. 
Yeah, I mean, if your intent is to rile up a Twitter mob, like, and and try to like, you know, that that's what felt weird about it from the start was like, okay, we're we're trying to rile up a mob over this, and it's working, and um, it's like, do we need more of that? Seriously. So, I don't really know. I don't really know what else to say other than than that. So, good luck. Good luck to everybody involved. <laughs> That's it. What is that? What did I just do, chat? Can you heal anytime you want? Oh, I went backwards. Then he looked down. Huh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I get a little distracted with my, um... Scorn gameplay while I'm discussing such topics. But, uh, I'm done. That's it. That's all I got. Are you excited for Silent Hill tomorrow? As excited as one can reasonably be for a Konami venture in 2022, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. No wonder I didn't really know what the fuck I was doing. I'll try to go up there. Do you think they will announce the Metroid Prime Trilogy on Switch in tomorrow's Silent Hill Direct? Yep. Yep. It'll be there. Cloud version. That's right. We are happy to announce the Metroid Prime Trilogy cloud version on the Nintendo Switch Gaming Console. Metroid Prime is so cute. We've updated the visuals. <laughs> you can display 4K on your Nintendo Switch portable. Which is why you would have to use the streaming version. We hope you understand. I don't know what this voice is. <laughs> I tried to do the Nintendo Direct guy, and it just... <laughs> it's like adult Cartman. I don't know what's happening. Oh, fuck. Oh. Can you please get your hand out of my stomach? I guess not. I guess we'll just leave that in there, thanks. Uh-oh.
Oh, speaking of Mario and Rabbids, I'd like to ideally get a copy on Thursday, though I don't think it'll happen. That way I can do my um, charity mini golf stream Thursday night. By the way, charity VR mini golf stream Thursday night, Hootie, um, Great Zot, and Gear. Please stop by for that. 8 p.m. Eastern. And it would be great if I could do that and then play Mario Rabbids after that, but... Um, Hey, if anyone knows where I can get a, a, a day early copy in New York City, hit me up. My uh, my sources have all dried up. Much like my scorn hole. Vinny, it comes out Thursday. GameStop is doing a 9 p.m. release. Oh, I'll keep I'll keep that in mind. I'll take a look. Behind the dumpster at Wendy's on the 25th Street. It's one horror. Vinny, are you going to get the Crisis Core remake? I'll wait for that to release before I make a judgment call. I'm iffy on whether or not I want to play Crisis Core again. I'm going to say, um... Uh, you know, a, a strong maybe. I have been damaged. Whoa. Can you heal? Oh, I can heal. No, we're good, we're good. Hold it down? Oh. Chat, I wanted to, um, why did you woe so far away? Okay, um... A quick update to the tinnitus situation. I think it is jaw-related. And, uh, I got the ear popper thing, and, um, I... I don't know if that's a good thing. It's probably a bad thing, but, uh, yeah, I got the ear popper thing. I've been using it. I need to use it more. But, uh, there's... I got some pain in a weird spot if I push up, like, near my ear. So I think it's a jaw thing. And, uh, yeah, it's a different, it's in my left ear, it's a different pitch, it's like 13k frequency, different than my usual tinnitus. So this, this now, I've, I think I've narrowed it down. So I'm gonna go to the, uh, oral surgeon, and don't make any jokes about oral surgery. Maybe, 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 maybe we won't just stand there. Yeah, I know the more you focus on it, the worse it gets, but I, I kind of feel like this might be a physical problem, as opposed to just, it's there. Because apparently my hearing test is, was very, very good for my age. And, uh... I had just some pressure buildup, which I'm relieving with this ear popper. But, uh... Yeah, it feels like it, this might be a jaw issue. I don't know what that means, I don't know what kind of procedure has to be done, if any. But, uh, just because people have been asking, I wanted to just give an update. Yeah, the finest in meat technology. This is what they'll have to do if it is a jaw issue. 
Also, House of the Dragon, just quick, quick thing I wanted to say. I really liked the season, especially 8. Episode 8 was very good. Episode 9 was good, and I enjoyed it a lot, but uh, there was one big dumb spectacle moment that made no sense. And I was like, oh, right, that's end season Game of Thrones type shit. Um, no, not the feet. I'm talking about the end of the episode. I was like, why? Why is this happening? But it is, you know, it's still way better than, than those seasons. And I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm enjoying it. But yeah, there's definitely some hints throughout the show. I'm like, oh, that's dumb. It's, there's plenty there. It's not a perfect show. Plenty of dumb. Anyway, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. I've talked about all of it. Now we can immerse ourselves in Meat World. I'd like to be inside the meat. What Muppet face did you make during the feet scene? I was like, oh man, they got Tarantino as a guest director. And someone said, um, have I watched Andor? I've only seen two episodes of it, but I agree that it is, it is really different and actually like real TV kind of. Which is why it is the lowest rated of all- lowest watched of all the Star Wars shows. So, go figure. It's also the lowest watched because people are burnt out on Star Wars. I mean, I'm- I'm struggling to find the motivation to even turn the show on, and I liked the first two episodes. Just need a break from fucking Star Wars. Even Star Trek, like, there's just a glut of Star Trek. Most of it's shit, mind you, but Lower Decks is weirdly the most entertaining one. And I'm just like, any star thing right now, I'm, I'm good on. Just small doses. Yeah, same for superhero stuff. Uh, after Spider-Man, I watched Doctor Strange, and that was just kind of pretty okay. I wish Sam Raimi had more to do in that movie, like, a little bit more of a stamp on it. But, um... That was pretty much... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I really care about any other superhero movie coming up. Not for a while. Spalton 3. What game do you think Spalton 3 is, chat? All of your answers are correct. Vinny, we're saturated with pop culture bullshit. It's funny because, yeah, in the 80s... Late 70s, 80s, you had to wait, like, several years to find out... ...like, who Darth Vader really was. And now... ...you know... ...it just happens week to week, we get all these... ...there's just so much. Every week, new thing. Every day, new thing. We've become the amused to death book. I mean, I like I like escapism as much as anyone else. That's why I'm playing Scorn. This is this is how I escape the uh, pervading. The pervasive thought of my own mortality by playing a meat game. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, the the album Amused to Death by Roger Waters, I don't really love all that much, but it has a couple things on it. Oh, shit. Uh. Someone in chat said, I'm honestly getting numb to all of this. I can kind of relate a little bit. I I'm going to start... I need to see some meat feet cannons, otherwise I'm going to get bored real soon. Chat member, I see what you're doing. You want me to say this word that you keep typing? You're going to have to just keep going. And you're going to have to waste your whole night typing the same joke over and over again. <laughs> But yeah, we gotta, you know, we gotta get to a point where there's more things to do than just pound meat enemies. Or do we? Also, oh god, is there a meat count for how many times I've said that word today? I get that shooting wasn't the focus of this game, or like, the, the combat is not the focus at all. But... It really, um... It really, really is not... very much of anything, is it? I think you get a gun. I think. I'm waiting for the gun. Well, let's see if there is a gun first, and then we can complain accordingly. Worst part is when you die and you lose 40 minutes of progress. Huh. Well, I had several chat members say that the second half of the game, which is what we're doing now, is the best part of the game. I, for one, am glad that this strange parasite arm is killing my character.
Oh, great. Oh, lovely. I guess we'll see how much progress was lost. You know what? Almost none. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, no. Man, no. No, don't, no. What, where does this elevator even attempt to go? You unlock those levels? Oh, okay, you do. Okay, um... Chat says you don't need to fight anything. You... How else would I prove? How else would I prove that I am... ...a gamer? I believe I was supposed to get that gun before doing this. Now's I can shoot. No, I can't. Oh, God. Really, really, really cool. Really, really, really awesome. Chat member says this is exactly where I stopped playing. Vinny, did you decide on a mic speaker setup going forward? Um, you know, I, I really would love to use a speaker mic setup, but the more I think about it, like, I got a bunch of, um, people that tried to help, and it seems like I'm gonna have to change most of my setup, and even then there would still be some bleed. So I'm gonna still look into it, but I haven't made a decision yet. There's also the potential of a lavalier mic. And there's potential that my, um, the muffs on my headphones, on my headset, could be replaced to make them a little bit more open back. How does Mike set up his mic setup? It's pretty good. Um, he has the same mic as me and he regrets that. Yeah, Dave, let me know, because you, you were talking about maybe, um, you know, a different pair of muffs. It's the AKG HSC-271. If there's a way I can replace these, that might help. Well, I can't reload yet because I have to get ammo. Also, just on a side note, if anyone uses the Scarlet 2i2 interface, I'm trying to use it with my uh, Roland uh, Synth 1. And the, it is crusty, and I've tried everything. Even, like, lowering the volume to 10%, I've tried everything. Are you using balanced TRS cables? Well, it's only crusty when I hit a couple keys at the same time. The gu guitar is fine. 
Um, I think the cable is okay. I don't think you can save manually in this game. You can't. Please reload faster. Oh, I've lowered the input level. I've tried very many different things. Maybe it's my guitar cable? But again, yeah, the guitar sounds completely fine. It's just my synthesizer that's fucked up. Synths usually need balanced cables for dual inputs LR. But if it's clicking, it could be a buffer thing. Oh, uh, well, you know what? It's not a buffer thing, because I've examined that option. That definitely isn't it. I'll try the dual cable thing. Even though it works fine, mono, in uh, Joe's studio, so I don't, I don't know. Weird. Guitar cables are not balanced, so try a balanced cable. I don't know what that means. I actually don't know what that means. They look like stereo cables. I have a, I also have a preamp to clean it up, chat member. Bottom one needs to be lit up too. Okay. Yeah, thank you for the advice. Oh god. I mean, I get it, it's just I don't know how to rotate the way it wants me to rotate. Like, how do I just rotate this thing? You can select the bottom one? No. Oh, okay. Oh, There's a chat member that said that took them hours. We've got to do another one. Oh, I thought we had to do another one on the back. 
It's like solve one puzzle. Nope, you got another one. I I almost I almost said the fuck word. No way to get more ammo. Okay. I mean, did we unlock this path? No. Legit question, what is your character trying to achieve? L leave the- leave the meat palace. That's all I know. And even that may be incorrect. Back to the elevator console. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. I mean... What does that look like to you, chat? Because I see... Throat. Chat. How do you how do you sleep at night saying those words? So I know the game's not done yet. Um, I know that I've complained a little bit about it. But I also really like the visual style. The thing is, I really would have preferred a very slow and methodically paced Ow. shooter with limited ammo and lots of scorn. Oh, Jesus. No heals. More fun to watch you play than to actually play. I feel like that's kind of how I wouldn't... I wouldn't have minded watching someone else play this, but... I will be that guy, since Chad is so good to me. Oh, yet yeah, you can go back to the melee. Germa melted down playing this game. Think this is healing? Makes the 
pretty much the same noise as the gun from Existence, which is cool. As I may have noted earlier. I see many chat members whenever I have a chance to look over. Uh, yeah, I see different ways the game could have happened. Like, you have, um... You have my idea of, like, kind of a, a, a survival horror thing, which is maybe a little bit more... I think, like, somewhat linear would have been just fine. Oh, great. And you could have focused on just a couple weapons and some shooting and, you know, going through some bizarre meat environments and then have, like, a little story. Some people in chat are saying the game could have been just a walking simulator with story. And just all visual storytelling with no... no combat. Which I guess would still make it a puzzle game. That is what you so desire, oh god. So desired. Oh. So, I mean, y yeah, you could have... Th this game could have been done... ...in a lot of different ways. Got it. <laughs> I did it. No, it wasn't a brute force. I, I had to actually figure out the logic of it. I tried to, at least. It was just a nightmare trying to do- Oh, that! Nothing this way. One of the major issues is that the store page kind of makes it seem like it's a story-driven shooter rather than missed with gun. Well, that was, um... That was a major complaint that... A, a good number of people were having. Was that it was just marketed... Maybe it wasn't marketed wrong, but it was... It seemed like a game that it wasn't entirely. And you have to, like, solve a slide puzzle in the first ten minutes of gameplay. And that would be an instant refund for a lot of people. So it's just, yeah, someone said this is this gen's brutal legend. I remember that. 
Yeah, I mean, it definitely has... On first glance, it's like, oh, this is this type of game. And then if you watch a little bit of it, it feels like that's what it is. It's not until you get into the gameplay and you actually start getting into it. Like, that's why I gave a disclaimer when I did part one. Because I read that the game was not what I thought it was, and I remembered the demo I played years ago was like a proto version of this. But even more confusing, like this I can kind of parse. That was... That was rough. But, um... Maybe they could have found a better way to advertise this game, or maybe found a better way to... ...let people in on... ...not even advertise, but just to... ...give people a better idea of what it is. But I mean... ...I think between word of mouth and the, and the disgusting visuals and Halloween season... The game sold probably just fine. VR explana exploration with no combat, says another chat member. Well, I don't hate what is here. I know I'm, I've been a little crusty about it. A little crotchety about it. I actually don't hate what I've played. There are definitely frustrating moments. Okay, I've been very crotchety about it. I've also found enjoyment, and I do like playing a weird, overly graphicked, meat Halloween-ish game, and this fits the bill nicely, so... When, um... When I learned it was possible to resume from where I was, I had to make a decision. I was like, you know, I could just fucking abandon this game. It's not like it's the most popular game on my channel. You know, like, this isn't just for the content. I mean, it, it did fine. It did pretty well. But it's more that I kind of just wanted to see what kind of batshit crazy ending the game may have, and what other weird scenes like that... Remember that little buddy that we had that fell down and I laughed at him? Remember that? Well, that night I had weird dreams, and they were not good ones. I'm pretty sure Iso, our buddy, gave me nightmares, so thanks, buddy. But even so, I want to see if there's any more weird moments like that where I get to uh, send a strange fella to his death. I mean, have him help me. Someone said, um, do you, do you have any plans to play any Dreams Halloween games? And... I do have a pack of Dreams games on the horizon. Jackal made a collection. I'm gonna check those out. I don't know when, but... Maybe next week? I mean, that could be Sunday stream, but usually my Dream stuff is just during the week stuff, so... Probably just do it then. I still keep a dream journal. Not really, I just write in my notepad. But I had a, a weird dream about Tears of the Kingdom, the new Zelda game. Oh. I had a dream it was, um... There were, there were boats 
on a river, and it was like an apocalyptic scenario, and you had to run through them. And, like, there were lots of crashing boats from the river to, like, whatever shore, and people were running and screaming. It was some, like, canyon town or something. And I remember, um... In my dream, the game was, like, 10 out of 10. But it was also a Majora's Mask type thing, where you would rewind and, and do that scene multiple times. And it gave me, like, a deep feeling of dream existential dread. But in a good way. In, like, a holy fuck, this game is awesome kind of way. And that's really all I remember. I don't remember too much else about it, but... It was vivid enough that I remember that without having to write it down. Let's go through there. Is there a dream you still remember vividly? I remember dream locations. They're all weird, bastardized versions of, of, of real locations. Like, there's a dream mall that I keep going to that is not actually the mall that I go to. And... There's like a, a strange corporate park that keeps popping up. Um... Yeah, just, like, locations that recur. I can kind of picture those in my head. I can just, like, kind of immediately go to them. M my brain just changes the locations in my real life ever so subtly. Or sometimes drastically. You ever visit your dream Silent Hill? Sometimes. Crimson nipple suit? Oh, you didn't say that. What did you- Okay, Crimson Raid said, I once had a dream that I fought Homer Simpson in a mech suit. We were both in mechs. I- Okay, my- My eyes glanced over that very briefly, and my brain perceived that as Crimson Nipple Suit. So, you know, artists. I guess that'll, uh, lead me to- Hang on, let me just see. Tiny Crusader actually made art of John Bobo, the, um... The Trauma Clown. I just thought it was cool. That's him. You know he's smoking a cigarette. You know he's smoking a cigarette when he's doing, doing this trauma dump dissection. Hey everyone, let me tell you about the murder. Well, don't get too excited. The murderer isn't as hot as Jeffrey Dahmer. You know we've lost our way as a fucking culture when people are shipping Jeffrey Dahmer with other serial killers. And for the people that would say, oh no, 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 that's all ironic. I promise you, a good chunk of it isn't. It's so, um, so bizarre. Well, someone said irony is destroying our culture. <laughs> is it? Because I can think of a couple other things. But, yeah, maybe. I, I just don't know the difference anymore sometimes. It's like Poe's Law is really just kind of in your face all the time. <laughs> and, like, I can laugh about it, but I can also feel, it like, immense sadness over it.
someone said you're destroying our culture, Vinny. Well, I'm, I'm probably not helping. What about Tinky Winky's law? I only got one law! And that's that I'm the piper one! Uh... I do, uh, do the one! Music counts as contributing to culture, so you probably cancel yourself out. So what you're saying is, I'm a cultural black hole. That can be a song title. A little on the nose, but it's kind of neat. So, so what is happening here, chat? Hey, can I get a pointer, perhaps? Go back down, use the grabber on the ball. Someone in chat said, oh, he was actually lost. That is the scorn... ...specialty. Is when... ...you don't know if the streamer is lost or not. Has he hit the point where he realizes this isn't a puzzle game? Chat, what do you- what do you mean? What level of irony is that? How many layers? So use this console? Chat, now that Vampire Survivors is hitting 1.0 soon... Um, I'm thinking about doing a combo segment... ...of... ...like, three or four, um... ...Vampire Garlic Lights in a row. Just, like, a half hour each. That's it. No more than a half hour, and just, like, kind of... Uh, at, it, not at once, uh, in a row. But yeah, like, really, actually 100% try to stick to... I've done Soulstone Survivors. The problem is, there's a, a game that I've, I've been playing... Um... When I was living out of a fucking suitcase. That is actually... I really enjoyed it. I don't know that it was like, um... God, what was it? not 20 minutes till dawn? I played that one. I, I haven't streamed this one. Rogue Genesia. Yeah, Rogue Genesia was pretty good. But there's so many of these things, and more of them are like dropping all the time. So I'm probably gonna do just a segment of like four in a row. If you have any good good ones, suggestions, you can uh, go ahead and send me an email. Gotta put the ball on the claw. <sighs> Brotato? I'll consider Brotato. I haven't played that. Will you be playing Faith Chapter 3? I will be playing Faith Chapter 3. Oh, no! I will be playing Faith Chapter 3. 
I don't know when, but uh, probably near release. I've played 20 minutes till dawn. Pretty good. It needed, when I played it, it needed some work on balancing issues, but I thought it was pretty good, yeah. You should do Hollow Cure and do a collab with number one Vine Sauce fan, Gaur Gura. <laughs> Chat, that is a world I know almost nothing about. Is it? That's how you say it? Gaur Gura? I mean, I'm happy they like my streams. If they do, that might even not be real, but if it is, thank you. Shark person. Shark... Shark person, have you seen Shark Exorcist? Because I hear that movie is, is really cool. Oh, no! When I get angry in this game, I become Anthony Kiedens. You and Jerma are her favorite streamers on Twitch. Well, Jerma is... is Jerma. How do you not like Jerma? He's the best. Good. Oh yeah, the, the turf, the turf war, the street gang war stuff was was really funny. It reminded me of the SNL thing that Norm did, and I had to I had to cut that up and post it because it was just too good not to. That thing on your back is body number one. Nice. Vinny, do you think California girls are as unforgettable as they claim? I remember when California girls was a Beach Boy song. It's a good one. It's a really good Beach Boy song. I have not heard the uh, the new one. I just know it exists. I think there's a new one. Surely you've seen the memes. It's weird because as for as, you know, here I am, uh, a young lad, my finger on the pulse of the memes of the, the youth. And yet, I have large gaps in my meme knowledge, and people are often surprised. Like, Vinny, how did you not hear about Scrumblaplo, the best meme? It's still glitching. It's still glitching! You know what Scrumboplo meme is? This. Someone said, I really want to smell this game. I don't think you do. Because if you've ever had rotten ground beef anywhere near your nostrils, you would not want to smell this.
Vinny, I am a butcher. We live for the smell of ground beef that is rotten. Yo, bro, can you send me some meat? I don't need the express delivery. Just, if you want to just, like, package up and mail me some meat, that would be, that would be sick. Like some chuck. One after, uh, one after Magna Carta. thing I don't like it okay okay oh no please no stop stop diaper clown diaper clowns god Please stop shooting the legs. This is not dead space. Well, excuse me for thinking that I could apply logic to a game about meat. I hope this didn't put me too far back. No, this is where we... Okay, this dude glitched. Ow. Glitched again. Scrumboplo. Loaded a save where I didn't get the ammo. They wanted to, uh, send me a scorn pack. Like, I got an email about, Hello, we'd like to give you a copy of Scorn to stream, and also we want to send you, like, a press kit. And... You know. I don't know what it would have been. Like, what, like a burger? I, I don't know. I have no idea what it would have been in there, but it would have been... It would have been fun to have it. I just saw the email too late and replied too late, and they ran out of meat boxes. But yeah, just for the record, as I'm sure all of you know by now, I was under no obligation to play this game. I just thought... thought it would be cool. But yeah, I'm really kind of sad I missed out on the scorn crate. Uh, Vampire Survivors is sending me, like, a little package of some kind. I don't know what, but to celebrate 1.0. And, um, because I streamed it, they contacted me. They want to send me, like, a couple little things. I guess it's just gonna be garlic and blood. It's funny, too, because my opinion of that game was lazy asset flip, stolen assets. Before I knew that it wasn't actually stolen assets. I was very, very uninformed about what that game actually was. And in the first stream I did of it, I was like... This is manipulative. <laughs> this isn't a game, it's just manipulation. So they liked that well enough to send me a, uh... A little package. Close homages, correct. Yeah, I had to learn a couple things. Vampire survivors learned me some. Yeah, the dev is apparently very, very cool.
hope it's not still chasing me. Chad, I just need to find the correct penis. Do not take that out of context. Chat, why can't I activate this penis? And I'm stuck on the monster. Vinny, you had to switch weapons. Wrong side, and you needed the right tool. Am I on chapter 4, or is this chapter 3? Chapter 3, it's long. And is 4 the last chapter? You're getting close to the end? Okay, cool. Five, but five is short. Oh, okay, maybe I'm not that close to the end then. <laughs> Gotta just stand there and take the hits. The hits keep coming, and then they don't stop coming. But yes, you need the correct tool, and you need to be on the right side of the penis. Game of the Year candidate? What do you mean, candidate? My brother in Christ, it's a lock. More like candidate. My game of the year is probably between Orc Massage and that fish game I played the other night. Well, Salt Goodman Cart was an emotional roller coaster, so at least, at least there's that.
plastic duck simulator. <laughs> Isn't it called Placid Duck Simulator? It's funny, even though I have some really strong issues with the way this game is being presented and like the, the specifically the gameplay and some of the backtracking and like just how confusing some of the environments are. In my head, I can justify the developer doing every one of these things. Wait, what did I do? I have to go back down. Because, like, I can kind of see, like, well, what do you do with a game like this? There needs to be some shooting. You gotta add some danger to the game. Have it be, like, a weird Cronenberg-type gun. There should be puzzles, because, you know, it's a weird, fucked-up alien world. Maybe some puzzles. Like, I can kind of understand why they made the decisions they made. I just don't think... they acknowledged playtesters, if there were any... If they said, hey, this game is cool and everything, but it's not particularly fun to play. It's like, well, yeah, that's the point. Oh, God. It's time to get lost again. This game is trying to be survival horror, not a puzzle game or a Doom clone like people expected. But it is, it is a puzzle game more than it is... ...a survival horror game. I like survival horror, this doesn't... Whatever light survival horror this has isn't enough. But, I guess there's also the aspect of... I just get really confused in these environments. Because it's like, alright, I get that you don't want to tell the player what to do, because this is not a... This is not a friendly environment. This is not an environment that is to be enjoyed. Or to help the player along. But like, okay, here's a switch that opens this thing, go there, and then just figure it out, asshole. That doesn't work for me. Just makes me upset. Struggle core. <laughs> but I'm also open to different kinds of shooting experiences. Like, I like that the game tried something different. I don't think it, it is working 100% for me, but I know people that are really, really into this game. Again, I saw the reviews were like twos and nines. It's like... really, really polarized. But also, notice, when I play video games, I get lost anyway. So, I cannot... I cannot be objective. Well, I mean... Is it possible for any human to be objective? Because you bring all of your experiences and your interests and likes and dislikes... When, ...you know, into a game when you play it, or into a movie when you watch it, etc, etc. But... Oh no, we've got a lot of objective chat members, never mind, okay. What I wanted to say was, I get lost in video games extremely easily, so I probably... ...have that working against me.
yeah, I check the map constantly. I, I have to. To the point where sometimes I wish there wasn't a map in a game. Because I just end up checking it to the point of, like... It detracts from the viewer experience. Mini maps are good, because then you can just look to the top corner. There was a point in time where I played Metal Gear Solid, and I didn't even look at anything other than the fucking mini map. The, sorry, the Soliton radar. It was just that useful, which is probably why they Kojimbo got kind of got rid of it. In this game, you'd be looking at wrinkles on your nipple scrotum for a mini-map. <laughs> It'd be like that Jurassic Park game from the 90s, where you had to look down at your character's booba to see the heart tattoo, and that was your health meter. Except in this game, you have to, like, look down at your fucking hairy nipple. The health meter should just be your cock. Seriously. The flaccidometer? That really would just be the ex- <laughs> That would be it. That would be scorn taken to the next logical step. I wonder if it was considered at any point during development, if they were like, can we? No, but we'll make it like a skeleton. We'll make it like, maybe it'll be like an alien thing. It'll be like three balls. It won't overtly be a penis, but. But Vinny, that would be scornography. Well, remember, you can show scornography on Twitch as long as it's a first-party game, or if it takes place in a bathtub. You saw it the other day when I was playing that duck game. Scorn would have been renamed Scrot. What was that one game? Hrot? H-R-O-T? Like a retro FPS game. Please let me sleep! Let me slide through! Just, just let me, let me go through. Ah. Oh. That's where the real difficulty comes in. Knowing how to... ...manage your space. See, now that enemy is as good as defeated. In my book.
Vinny, I wanted to apologize for acting like a total attention whore earlier. I was just getting high off of hearing my comment being read by streamer without donating any money. And yet, I read that one. So who's the bigger clown, you or me? Well, at least that was a nice chat message. You are self-aware. Be honest, how much money have you donated to streamers to get your high? I asked the question, it's rhetorical because the chat is scrolling up so fucking fast I can't even read the follow-up. The high is only from interacting for free. Oh, okay. Well, that's the thing about this chat. This chat... High risk, high reward. Meaning... You're not going to get your comment read. I'm not going to say your name. Your name is just chat member. Right? Your, your comment is going to be maybe one in every 1,000 to 2,000 messages get read out loud. And sometimes I try to be not like a cock about messages, but you'll know when one sucks. I guess that's good enough. I mean... For that chat member, they were posting some of the lowest quality streamer bait I've ever seen, so... If that's what gets... That, if that's what gets their scorn big, then... Hello, my child! Welcome to my domain! Have you recovered the three crystals yet? Have you met my son, Meat? hole. Oh, it, it's a, it's a her? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I guess so. You know. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the moment just got ruined for me because a revelation dawned upon me. You you know someone. Someone out there. <sighs> Fuck. I'm not even gonna say it. There are now chat members posting smiley-faced emojis going, It was me. I just picture them sounding like Gandalf. Yes, it was me. That was my name.
there's got to be some kind of allegory here about like the technological world destroying the meat from the inside. Chat, this is what our phones are doing to us. Vinny, when is the next part of Point Intensity? Half-Life. Uh, I'm gonna try to record one this week. I'm trying to balance my Spooptober stuff with, uh, uh, regular stuff. So. But also, last week I, I was not able to record or stream anything for five and a half days. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. It's almost as good as a legit Half-Life mod. Like, uh, uh Half-Life expansion. So, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Is this Spooktober game or regular? Yes. It's not a scary game. Um, was I supposed to backtrack here? Probably not, right? Because I entered from here. No, I was not supposed to backtrack. Nice flaps. Go in the second hole this time. I'm looking for the second hole. They say within that hole, a uh, glory can be found. No, those were not burps. That was an attempt at a disgusted near vom noise. Vin, you used to be a pro at comedy. Yeah, and then I lapsed. I considered not finishing that sentence, but then I thought, man, there's probably a lot of people that haven't heard that bit. Let me tell you, that's a great bit! This way, maybe? No. <sighs> Vinny, I value your throat. Please hydrate. Uh, okay. Chat member, I know you're saying that with the best of intentions, but... Oh, this way. I thought this is where I came from. But yes, you could have worded that a little bit differently. Maybe you should have been the English major, chat member. Then you'd know how to make every sentence ever.
Chat, I don't understand. come back later. New gun. Ammo blinded. Oh, fuck. Yeah. The ammo for this gun kind of looks like gonads. But what doesn't in this game? I might have maybe overkilled that enemy. You didn't? Oh, it actually does take two? Okay. Yeah, Ultra Kill has a... Not Ultra Kill. But, uh, Turbo Overkill has an update. Cultic just came out. I mean, all these fucking games are releasing or... De are determined to release all around the same time, and I'm like, fuck, stop. RimWorld has a huge expansion um, on the horizon, which I'm not going to play on release. RimWorld Season 3 is not happening anytime soon, but when it does happen, there will be a lot of new things to see. No, rim no rimming. That's right, Mike. <laughs> milkable colonists. I swear to fucking God, if a chat member makes me install milkable colonists mod, I am going to install it. Vinny, look at the creature's back. Are there a bunch of, like, Amoguses up there eating... eating the flesh? Remind me of uh, lampreys. We're just, we're just getting all the enemies all at the same time. Vinny, are you excited for Silent Hill? We um, the what the the words Silent and Hill put together because that's all we know about what's happening. I don't mean to come across it uh, like you with snark chat member. Sorry if I am. But no, really, we have no idea. All we know is there's a presentation. I'm 
somewhat hopeful that it actually could be a game. Um, if it is a really legit remake of 2, I'd be really happy. I would love to also see it fucking... Remember, um... What was it called? Like, something Shadow of the Eternals or something? It was supposed to be a spiritual sequel to Eternal Darkness. As much as I love Silent Hill and I'm a latecomer to the Silent Hill franchise, I really want to see an Eternal Darkness remake. Or a sequel. But yeah, Shadow of the Eternals is completely dead. As far as I'm aware. But... Doesn't Dennis Dyack kind of suck anyway? I, I don't know. It's hard to keep track of my scumbags these days. I guess everyone and no one is a scumbag all at the same time. Culture right now is in Schrodinger's scumbag. So, that that's the period. that I shall now dub our current cultural period as Schrodinger's scumbag. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. watched, um, Pat Finnerty did a thing, Little Stinkers, on Nickelback. And, uh, Nickelback put out a song about San Quentin Prison. And he talked about how he has a fake band, a fake scumbag band. <laughs> and, uh, it was basically the same song, except in his fake scumbag band, he talked about going to prison, and that was the goal. And he's like, Nickelback wants to stay out of prison, so my band wins. I mean, I'm not doing it justice, but if you want to watch this dude, Pat Finnerty is really fucking funny. I would recommend his stuff. He does What Makes This Song Stink, and, uh, he just covers, like, he covered Danny California, he covered, um, Maroon 5, covered, uh, Chad, who else did he cover? Oh, uh, Beverly Hills by Weezer. He did the Kravitz Bowl. Bampton 3? No, 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 I know what you're doing. That's- that's a reference to a forbidden game. Oh, shit! Very talented gurgle voice actor. Chris Pratt did the gurgles. Please no. Please no! Speaking of scumbag, did you hear about the Bayonetta 3 voice actor news update? Oh god, yes. Um, the reason I read that out loud is because someone talked about accountability. But I think that's a pretty good example of what the fuck is even happening? Like, who, who do we... You know, who, who are we going after, folks? Wh what even do we do now? So it's just so confusing and it just, again, it goes to show you that you don't you know, 
w without actually being there or having every side and every receipt, it's like, how do you hold people accountable for whatever the fuck is happening there? Because it seems like there's a lot of fuck ups on all sides, on all ends. And I think that, like I said earlier, that the main takeaway should be voice actors should be paid properly. That's the positive that should be taken from it. But that's going to be overshadowed with all the craziness and crap. So. But yeah, I'm sorry to bring that up again. I'm not... Uh, chat, I'm really hoping not to initiate another chat discussion about it. We had that earlier. We were having fun. I just wanted to follow up my scumbag culture. <laughs> Schrodinger's scumbag with, with that. Because that just ended up being such a huge clusterfuck. Um... And this whole boycott thing is, is, you know... I know it's just gonna be real fun for me to want to play my cool Bayonetta game that I enjoy that series so much. I love Bayonetta 1 and 2. And then I go to get that one and someone's gonna show up in my chat and be like, Hey man, what are you doing? So that's, that's gonna be fun. Like, this is gonna be that chat member the day I get Bayonetta 3. Their flaps will be flapping undulantly. But on a serious note, though, I, I feel- I just feel bad that... ...everything got all fucked up when there was a really good point. So let, let us hope that in the future, voice actors are taken seriously, respected, and treated well, and are paid well. If actors can be, why not them? Including not replacing them in movies with movie stars that do a terrible job. Unless the movie star is really good, which can happen, and has happened, and will continue to happen from time to time. Like I said, Jack Black is doing a perfectly fine job as Bowser, and Keegan-Michael Key is doing an excellent code. Just on a... And that dude who plays Sonic is pretty good, too. That's just my... MY THOUGHTS! That's just my, my opinion. Jack Black has done voice work. Well, I mean, Chris Pratt has done voice work. It's just... You know, Linda Belcher. Well, as as himself, as a Lego man, yeah, pretty much. Chris Pratt does work, not voice work. He doesn't do voices, he just reads like he's bored. <laughs> yeah. I guess now would be a good time to put this up again. I like this. Yeah. Uh, growing up, man, I spent hours of my life stomping Koopas in the original Mario Brothers arcade game. There is a Mario Brothers arcade game, by the way, chat, worth. Yo, I got knocked to the ground while I was reloading. No, 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 there's the arcade game, and then there's the Super Mario Brothers that was also in an arcade, which is just the, the NES game, if I'm not mistaken. Not to defend Chris Pratt necessarily, but I'm just saying there's actually both of those things exist, so. Listen, I did my laundry at Chris Pratt Laundromat, and I never once saw no Mario Brothers arcade game. The most they had was a bubblegum machine, and that shit was broken. It 
It was probably a laundromat in LA, though. I, I know, chat member, I was just messing around. I don't know. Sorry, I forgot to add the kappa to my sentence. Chris was a true fan, he would have said Jumpman plus Donkey Kong. Oh yeah? If Chris was a true fan, he wouldn't have taken the job. Did you know, chat members, that you needed to actually do... If you wanted to be the voice actor for Mario, you needed to complete a successful Super Mario World speedrun. You needed to have completed Lost Levels, and all 120 stars in Mario 64. That's the only way. Charles Martinet did that while standing on his head. This is a cool... This is a cool sequence. Okay, I should have added a kappa to that sentence, too. Listen, I don't care if he played the games. I don't really give a shit. I mean, maybe he wanted to show, like... Okay, when Patrick Stewart got the role of Captain Picard, he actually lied about having watched Star Trek. He never did. He told the truth years later. He was just afraid that the fans were gonna fucking eat him alive if he hadn't seen it. And guess what? He was right. Years later, he admitted it because people then accepted him as Captain Picard, but he watched almost nothing of Star Trek, but he told the press in 1987, like, he was like, Oh yes, I watched plenty of Star Trek with my son. Oh yes, I've watched numerous episodes of Star Trek with my son. But he did such a good job as Captain Picard. I don't give a fuck if he never watched Star Trek. He was an amazing actor for the role, and he is... To this day, my favorite captain. Oh. I mean, I love Captain Cisco. Don't get me wrong. I love. Um, yeah, Cisco's pretty great. But I, I think just I like TNG as a show a little bit better. So it's hard for me to choose. That's tough. It's tough. And listen, even Kirk is a lot of fun because he can punch. And he he does the the things with the he, he fights and stuff, <laughs> but uh, but man, yeah, no, I, I think Picard is still my favorite. How many times have you watched TNG all the way through? Four or five. Vinny, go the other way? Is this not the correct way? I've only seen season one a couple times. Only a few episodes of, a, of that season have I seen more than once. And I don't feel bad about that in the slightest. Ugh. Oh, this is miserable. Past the vagina door. I just wanted to get that ammo. The romance aspects of TNG are fucking horrible. Yeah, they're not great. But it's also forced because 90s. Vinny, the ammo was upstairs. Was it? Oh, alright. There's only a little bit of romance in TNG. There's not- there's- there's a will-they-won't-they they with, um, Picard and Crusher that goes nowhere. There's Riker just banging whatever green woman he can find. Um... Wesley Crusher, I think... 
hug someone and then they kick him off the show. So that was cool. Not really a whole lot else. Vinny, the ammo was upstairs. You were right, chat member. I, I got confused. Remember Troy and Worf being a couple? I do, and that was... That was a weird... That was a weird last-minute addition to the show because of a Parallel Universe episode. Shatner never watched any TNG. Yeah, Shatner um, has admitted to never watching TNG. Not because of jealousy or anything, but, but because he just never had the chance to. Okay, sure. What, whatever you say. And yet, he wrote several Star Trek books with um, the TNG cast in them. I say wrote, he had a ghostwriter that he dictated various ideas to. Yeah, he hired an actual spoopy spirit. Vinny, do you think people have just decided Chris Pratt is bad and are going to stick to it? I think some people will give him a chance. I'm still willing to give the dude a chance as long as... As long as it makes sense in the context of the movie and if I get used to it and it's actually not terrible. We, You're right, we've only heard two lines. I just, as I've said before, those... Those two lines, the tone of his voice is, is totally off, as far as I'm concerned. But again, if it's an Iske situation, and at the end of it, it's just Chris Pratt and his brother Charlie Day playing Mario Brothers on the couch, like the Lego movie, then... And then Charles Martinet actually does the voice at the very end, like the post credit scene. Then I guess that's at least... a story reason why the voice sucks? I don't, I don't know, man. Chat, am I going up this elevator? Passed it again? Wasn't that a heal machine? Um, you saw a heal machine? I thought I got this one already. Yeah, chat, this is empty. Behind you? I think this is the correct way. Door with light, Finn. Door with light. Okay. Door with light. So from here, go here. I don't see anything. Okay, nothing. Oh, oh right. You got to go inside the metis. That's right, chat. Forgot about that entirely. I guess I need one more. You made the hole to the other maze already, but you never went in it. I 
I don't know where that is because I'm very confused. And again, if I'm... I know there are people that would rather me just not speak. Like, I like Vinny's streams, but I don't like his... I don't like his commentary. He's also not particularly good at video games. But... The, uh, the problem is I have... I get lost more easily when I'm doing commentary. However... This game... is not really engaging me all that much. I, I understand. Um, when I'm getting lost and walking in circles... Like, that's the part where I have a chance to, like, talk about random shit, otherwise I would just be bored out of my mind. Well then, don't play it. Oh, chat member, I think we're a little in too deep at this moment. So now I just have to fucking find my way to the... the hole. Just reload the wrong save again and no one will be the wiser. Okay, so yeah, I have to find the other one, and all these passages are, are covered with scum and rib cages. so I'm gonna have to really, really try to find this thing. I mean, I don't want to be near an enemy, but... I figure at this point, it's the only clue I have. Oh no, that's an enemy I passed already. Yeah. So, so, all right, so where, where to, where to chat friends, where, where do we go? I wouldn't even know how to accept directions from chat. Well, this appears unopened. I think this is it. It really was north left, huh? How about that? Okay, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna go in there. No. No. Try to go in there. 
I, I, I've gone too far. I, I've clearly gone too far. So we're gonna, um, we're, uh, okay, it was this way. It was this way. No, it wasn't. I don't remember going on an elevator recently. Uh, maybe it was this way? Door here. And then there's... Uh, inside. Are we going inside? I need to... Uh, go inside here, I think. Going backwards again. How can you tell? Oh man, is this it? Did I do it? I'm telling you, the ending is gonna be so fucking amazing. And now the reward? Puzzle. Like 15, 20 minutes. What, why? <laughs> Something's happening and I can't see it. I'm stuck on the console. <laughs> that was like the only time a game, uh, a puzzle in this game actually made sense to me. <laughs> like, right away. Okay, so this, this motherfucker's been pulped. Oh, speaking of pulping, I saw the Dead Space remake trailer, or the gameplay footage. Looks good. Probably play it. Yeah, I mean, EA will probably fuck it up. That's not really a question, is it? But, I mean... Hopefully they add some things to the game. Because I literally just played it for the first time, like, a couple years ago. So I wouldn't mind some new additions, but... They will remove features act- Oh yeah, maybe they can sell the features back to us. Also, that's a fucking horrifying sight. That is actually one of the few times where... The things happening to the character... ...were grotesque enough to affect me. Was that like, Parasite? You know what I hate? That fucking parasite. Did you ever see the, the videos of that, like, wormy white parasite that, like, kind of spins out of insects? God, I hate that thing. Welcome to the Black Mesa Research Facility. The temperature... I don't even know if this place has temperature. 
but actually everything has temperature in Welcome to Baron Harkonnen's castle. Been the what you talk about? Only watch Chainsaw Man head. Do not know Dune. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, chat. Just ignore me. Chat, is this the final chapter? I'm thinking maybe I just knocked this fucking game out on the stream tonight. Okay, and this is apparently a short chapter. Looks like something out of Doom Eternal. Minus color. Oh. Sex legs. Well, finally, we've reached something that isn't just made of flesh, tendrils, blood, rot, guts, and intestines. Vinny, you uh, missed... Uh, what did I miss? Oh, that's what I missed. No, that's a cannon. I think this is the de orbital defense station, chat. All of these are. Yeah, here's orbital defense C. Here's orbital defense O. And here's orbital defense K. Giger would be proud that his legacy is being carried on in an overly obtuse, <laughs> mostly unfun game that m many people probably quit very early on. But, uh... But I cannot deny that the artistry is phenomenal. I even liked some of the puzzles. I mean, it's not done yet, but chat, this- I liked this more than I didn't. I know I've been crotchety, as I've said before, but... There were things I enjoyed. I just wish it was a little bit less maze-like, and, uh, that the areas had some more visual differentiation. <laughs> you said crotch. Well, video games look like this now. I remember back in my day when video games looked like Custer's Revenge. Ah, uh, we don't talk about Custer's Revenge. That game is clearly the benchmark.
But that was an early example of um, Atari cock. There's really I don't know why I'm even looking at this. I mean, it's just cool to look at. Again, there's a lot of work. Like, that's really fucking awesome to look at. All of it is. It's just... You know, when you play a first-person shooter that's really fast-paced, you tend to overlook the details. But if you think about how long the artist spent actually fleshing, no pun intended, the world out, That's one of the reasons why Half-Life Alex worked so well for me, is because every... It was such a slow-paced game... ...that had more of an emphasis on, like, um, taking cover and shooting and kind of examining your environment... ...that I really got to appreciate all the details and the level design. Thanks. Can we do that again? Yep, you can do it again, and it hurts. Elevators. Wait, there, there's like an hour left? Yeah. All right. Like, okay. There's still a bit left. Okay. Well, we've already been doing this for two hours and 33 minutes. I'm kind of... Oh, man. It's 20 minutes if you rush through it. Well, that's why I put Splatoon second, so it's just going to be a multiplayer Splatoon anyway. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do now. Um, if it makes you feel any better, you'll hate the ending. No! I'm not planning on doing the, the bonus level that everyone is telling me to do in Splatoon. I just wanted to do multiplayer. Like, ever. I don't know. I mean, isn't it, like, designed to be infuriatingly difficult, chat? The bonus level took me two hours to beat. The bonus level is actually not that hard. Oh. That's good. Oh, I didn't even see this path for some reason. Um... Yeah, I'm- I'm just gonna play. Just gonna try to finish this.
sorry for those looking forward to Spalton. I, I was too. In fact, I'll still try to, you know, I started early tonight, so we can, we can, um, do some extra Spalton whenever that time comes. This looks like fucking Nosferatu. Great. Glad I did that. Oh, you can just do that, huh? Okay. Sure is gory. Pick up the baby flesh. Like, how does my character know that he needs this? I- I don't... I don't understand... Does this not go here? In the art book, it hints that he's on a pilgrimage here. I guess this is the coming of age... ...ritual? For... <laughs> ...whatever the fuck this is? All Sklortlubs... ...must do this before they turn ripe. Absolutely necessary. Oh, yeah! Hello, and welcome to a Hydraulic Fresh channel. Today is Big Fucked Up Baby Day. That's- that's moving now. That- that's, uh... That's happening. Ugh. 
All right. I mean, do you ever make orange juice? There was a heal and ammo station. Where was that heal and ammo station? In this room. Oh, yeah, because it just, you know, from a little bit of a distance, it just kind of looks like a decoration. You missed it because the baby was preventing you from using it last time. Okay. This is just an overly convoluted way of... Putting an HEV charger on the wall. Very sinewy. Yep, good. Two. Please, please be enough. Mm. 
Why does this baby mech, in fact, have heat-seeking moisture missiles? <laughs> I see it, I see it, I see it. so I could punch it in the fucking face. All right. Oh, it actually it did something good. It saved Wait for him to reload instead of shooting him. <sighs> what well, seems like the first couple times you have to shoot him. So... fucking sacks does it have? <laughs> Come on, that, that has to be all the sacks. Sex. Oh dear God.
punch, punch, punch. Falcon, punch! Oh, shit. What do I do? I don't know what to do. There were no more sacks. I know I have to... Yeah, I know what I have to do, but I... Yeah, but you, you didn't really hit me, did you? Yep, that was what I needed. Now I don't have any ammo. Good shit, game. Apparently you missed a weapon. Did I though? No, he did not. The, the sniper penis. No, I, I don't- yeah, no. Y'all yeah. yeah, can serve my ammo for phase two. Chat members are correct. The, oh, I missed the Desert Eagle? Ah, uh, shit. wasn't aiming. One, two, 
three. One, two, three. Dev is in chat. He says the fastest way to get past phase two is to self-suck. <laughs> <laughs> what weapon did I miss? The taint tickler? Oh man, I knew I missed a fucking uh, powerful weapon like the BFG from Doom. I missed the chode node. At the chode node, you can enter a code, and that's how you get... That's how you get the Taint Tickler, or per perhaps you get the Gooch... Um... Something. I can't... A gr the Gooch la Grenade Launcher? I... Chat, help me out here. G the Gooch Gobbler. <laughs> Hilarious. Comedy, as Joel would say, in quotation marks. Stop playing if you're going to be so adverse to learning when you're not having fun. No one will mind if you just play Splatoon. Bro, I'm on the fucking boss fight at the end of the game. I'm just gonna stop now. I genuinely put effort in. I tried to defeat the boss last time. I did. I just failed. Did I learn? Well, yeah, I had to die once, and then I learned, and then I died again, and then I learned more. Now I got this. Doesn't make it a fun combat system. The combat in this game is a very weak element of the game. So... Just gotta deal with that. If you wanna get the... ending, which I've been told is the most fucking amazing ending of all time. Open your shit up! Good measure. <sighs> What's that cool noise that I just heard?
the cock clock. Well, what did I learn from that? Well, I learned that if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. If you believe in yourself, you do anything. From within your mind, no one else can find the light that you inspire from another place, not from outer space, but from some place even higher. Rem Lazar is what I learned from this game here. Rem Lazar. I also learned that this game's combat system is very clunky. Intentionally so. Oh, uh, no. No, we need more. Guess I'll just fucking die. No, oh, every time that every time that happens, I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna die now. Yeah! And then we don't. And then I'm disappointed all over again. Please save. There's no manual save function in this game, chat member. He was so close. What, this? Oh, well, yeah, obvious, obviously. Obviously. Just shoot now, please. Just save us the trouble. Just shoot now. Oh, Christ. Please put the baby into the Dwemer, shooting the baby, please. Can't you seize? Now is the time to shoot this baby. <laughs> no, I guess not.
I'm sure something really cool happened. Thank God that fight was not the same length as the previous fight. You know what, though? These feti have every right to defend themselves. Look at this fucking... sinewy... tentacled... bloody... cockmaster that I am. So I can squish them. He's about to soft lock with low health. Hell yeah. I think I know the name of my character. Sturgid. That's his name, Sturgid. Where's the juice? Oh. I think I understand. Remember that machine from earlier? The one that rips your flesh off? That's why the chat member was saying I'm gonna soft lock. I'm kind of afraid to self-pulp, because we, we need the health. Oh shit, oh, 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 oh. Wait, no, oh, uh, yeah, no, it took health away. It absolutely took health away. I didn't see the healing machine. There was a healing machine there? Just looked like bones to me. Devs talked about the ending changing with moral decisions. How many moral decisions have you made? Wait. That was weird. Why- why was the flesh ripped off? Oh, the other hands. That's right. Yeah. They remove the moral choices. That's cool. And back.
Boy, we gotta keep peeling our skin over and over again, don't we? I hope that health machine recharged. <laughs> no! Uh, did I complete... I didn't feed the blood to the... Oh. I need to feed the blood, right? I didn't do that part yet? That's later? Okay, so... Uh... Yeah, I, I genuinely thought there was only two hours of this game left. Like when I started today. Now I know I'm almost finished, but I mean, before I was... I was, uh... I mean, the game is frequently cited as a four-hour long game. I must have taken extra time on some puzzles. Most of my gameplay was... walking in circles, though. Guess not. Guess not. All that for that to happen. Body number two, you need to leave. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely fucking wonderful. What's going on down here? Holding his guts in. I mean, I know what's gonna happen. I, I've already called it. This- this vessel is damaged. This vessel is broken. So, I'm gonna guess... I mean... We're in the- Look at- look, there's all this birthing imagery. We have to become the Death Stranding baby. The Star Child. From 2001.
this existence is just suffering. Whatever this world is, why ever it was created. Oh, and the game is pretty cool, too. Oh, that's the wrong way. I was like, oh, peace, I'm out. It's a good thing we get to see that one last time. Did I have fun playing it? No, not really. Did I understand anything that happened? No, not really. But I'll never forget this game. I will absolutely never forget this game. So mission accomplished, I guess. I mean, it was definitely, yeah, scornography is the best way to describe it. Also, you're welcome, chat. You know that I got to play this and you didn't have to. This game will probably have a cult following, says a chat member. It'll probably get mods. But yeah, I, I can definitely see a cult following emerging for a game like this. Again. I will... There's definitely weird emotional responses that it is imbued upon me. Uh, therefore, I mean, I guess it's not over yet, but... And just took my brain into strange areas, but um, the tedium... Kind of killed that a little bit, but that's okay. that suffering, we finally got our piglets milked. It was worth it. Nice procedure. <laughs> Skull dust. Those are other us's, other folks. And uh, I thought we were going to be reborn as Babby, but we are reborn as Grigante. <laughs> What's happening? Rebelling? Yeah, no, 
maybe this is normal. <laughs> Just for good measure. I'm not doing that. I'm not pressing any buttons. That's just happening. we were bringing him to the milking table, but this appears to be the rebirthing chamber. I need I need device. Oh, there it is. Okay, I thought I had to like backtrack or something. Thank God. I guess, is that you? Someone seriously needs to show this to Maynard James Keenan because... Holy fuck. Or is it Keegan? Like the Kegel muscle. Maynard James Kegel. Um, I can't actually choose to look up. I'm just locked into that viewpoint. You mean the guitarist? Oh, Adam Jones. Well, that's an unexpected turn of events. Can you just let this fucker have a moment? Scorn. Well, I want to see what would happen. Like, what if... What if he made it through, and then he was born on, like, Earth?
Sorry, you got eternal flesh prison. Enjoy. And... I was hoping for an Earth respawn. But like, during the bubonic plague era... evokes an emotional response. Just feel bad for that dude. Our dude. Your dude. I hated the ending, though, you're right. Not because it wasn't, like, visually striking, but because... It's so fucking depressing. Just let this piece of shit... get reborn. Please. Uh, well, it's not as easy as just saying game is good, game is bad. I know that's kind of what, what, you know, what's been going on on the internet lately is game is good, game is bad. I, uh, you already heard my thoughts on it, but I'll just say that it definitely will be remembered. I'll remember this game fucking for a long time. There were some genuinely, um amazing moments to behold and shocking moments and maybe, you know, a little contrived here and there to be as gory as possible. I just didn't really like the puzzles that much. A couple were okay. The gunplay was not great and um, I just got lost a lot. So, it's scorn. I don't know what it is, but I think it's art. Thanks for watching. Uh, all right, everyone. Well, we're going to take a quick break. I'll be back with spl uh, s Splartin. We're going to do some Splartin. So, here, you know what? We could use a little... We could use a little something after that. So, uh, I got one for you. <laughs>